Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health has confirmed that boncrocic acid is to blame for the death of the two diners in the food poisoning cluster in Taipei. The acid can have a mortality rate of between 30 and 100 percent. It is produced by bacteria that grow in foods rich in fatty acids such as coconuts and corn. The top priority now is to find where the boncrecic acid came from. From a macro-historical perspective, this is the first case of its kind in Taiwan. We shouldn't let the bacteria enter our plant ecosystems. Speaking on a radio program, infectious disease expert He Mei Xiang says that although the boncrecic acid toxin can't be spread from person to person, the bacteria that produces it can grow in the soil under the right conditions. The bacteria only infects plants. It doesn't infect people. But it can grow in humid environments. It seems that the bacteria has already established itself in China. We hope that the bacteria was found in imported products and not in Taiwan-made products. Experts from the Ministry of Health and Welfare say boncrecic acid is a relatively rare toxin produced by the Burkholderia gladioli bacteria, which thrives in foods rich in fatty acids such as coconuts and corn. The toxin can cause severe illness in humans. In severe cases, all the cells in the body suddenly lose energy and shut down. So severe symptoms include liver failure and metabolic acidosis. The toxin can't be metabolised, so it gets into the patient's head, heart and muscles. They become paralysed. In just a few hours, within a day, it can cause disease and death. The literature says its mortality rate ranges from 30% to 100%. The bacteria is very picky, so it doesn't easily cause food poisoning. If it does, it's because you have had major problems in your food management. The Food and Drug Administration says that washing or cooking do not get rid of boncrecic acid already present in food. The best way to prevent the bacteria from growing in ingredients is to make sure starchy fermented foods are stored properly. With the first case of boncrecic poisoning, Taiwan is trying to learn lessons to prevent it from happening again.